Hey guys, my name is Victor. I'm a civil engineering student at the University of Pretoria. I started a YouTube channel because I just want to share some inspiration with you guys and help you guys and motivate you guys to do the best that you can. So, because this is my first video, I decided that I'm gonna go around campus and just ask people for some words of inspiration so that before I start inspiring you guys, someone else can inspire you too. Thank you. I'm here with Joanna. Joanna, what do you have to say to people watching this channel looking for inspiration? Um, well, I think we all know university like stuff, no matter what you're studying. Mm -hmm. So I think at the end of the day, look after your mental health. I think mm -hmm. no one really talks about that. You can all get exhausted, burn out some real things. So yeah, there's places around campus, there's people around you. Talk to people, make friends, and you know, just look after yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Joanna. Guys, the first thing you must remember is the reason why you started. I mean, Definitely, there's no way you can come into varsity and never encounter challenges. I mean, you will fail. That is a de it's not a curse. This is definitely so. Just remember why you are doing it, and just remember to always, every time you encounter failure, use it as a, a stamina point so that you can keep going and continue just pursuing your dream. I mean, no matter the amount of years it will take, at the end of the year, just know that you know you put in your maximum effort into what you want to do. Just kill it. Whatever it is in life, whatever happens in life, just squash it. Just squash it. Squash it. Don't let it squash it. Don't let it squash it. Alec, Josh, and Lene will just share some words of inspiration. Alec, where'd you go? I just want to say, just start studying as soon as you find out about the test. Because the day before the test is really hard. Yeah? And remember to study hard when you get the test. You might do well on the first test, but you fail the second test, it's alright. Guys, and once you fail, there's nothing chocolate and ice cream on your eggs. That is it. Okay, I'm still busy with the philosophy of the conditions that I live by, which goes by quote. When I was a child, I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. But when I became a man, I put my childish ways behind me. End quote. Like, that saying from as Corinthians 13, around that, uh, it's from Bible verse, but I've always loved it because it, it basically gets down to the point of maturity. Yeah. It doesn't stop. But you can say that, yeah, once I'm 18, I'm going to stop pulling on this or once I start drinking on this. Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't have a specific or fixed point. You can always keep improving what's really good. Yeah. Like, you can always do better than perfection. So, yeah, exactly. so, something that I always strive for. Like, yeah, if you reach 100% on like a test, hey, you can keep on going better. You, know? you see. Yeah. Or something, you know, like. That you'll never be perfect, but you can always keep striving towards perfection, meaning that you keep getting better and it never stops. Now, I feel like I would rather, like, I would rather stress every day, work every day to like, drop, like, knowing that you're making yourself better. Yeah, bro, like, yeah, it's better than doing absolutely nothing because that's just life, you have to just, you know, live your life. You know? mm -hmm. yeah, that's, oh, oh, do yeah, the yeah. tutorial problems, don't fall behind. Yeah. yeah. Makes friends with smart people, it's what I, how I'm getting through it. <laughs> it is a yeah. time and place for everyone to see, but I think for all of us, a lot of our best experiences have just been like a long and really long and just chill. It makes a big difference if you've got a big group of friends that mm -hmm. can actually get you through it. Mm. Everybody suffers at the same time because everything goes wrong at the same time. So well, everyone. It's, like, it's inspiring to know like everybody's having trouble at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Find yourself some good friends. Not as alone as you think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not as alone as you think you are. Everyone fails. Everyone. Yeah. 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 There's more to life than just getting the marks. Even though that's hard to, to understand sometimes. I think, I think you just gotta savor it. You gotta some days step back and just think like how amazing this experience yeah. is. And, you're going to be around so many people your age, but going the same direction in life and having a good time. I think it's one of the best times in your life, if not the best. So you just got to enjoy it when you can. And sometimes it gets tough, but you get through it. And yeah, just got to enjoy it. Be Chris. If you've heard of Chris Conroy, you want to be him. His life and his fitness and everything. Oh, so everything is just going well. Ladies, if you're looking for like a man, I can recommend one. <laughs> yeah, and always drink glasses of water after three glasses of alcohol. <laughs> can recommend. Never ever give up. And yeah. Whatever keeps you going, whatever you put in there, just yeah. go and do this. Yeah. Stay and motivated. Don't get your kids.
and don't touch your people because your friends will support you. They need you yeah, and they need you too. As long as you're doing the course you love, you finish in time, you're good time, you're six years up and done, you know, many things. Yeah, many blessings, man. For me, God. God. For me, believing in God, you gotta have your family behind you with that. You gotta trust in your family, his prayers for you, mm -hmm. your own prayers about whatever you want, talking to God, and then blessing his things. My motivation is my family. Your family, yeah, yeah. family is the most important thing to me. So, yeah. whenever I'm down, whenever I'm out, I have to call my mom or my dad and say, yo, you know, I'm struggling. And they tell me stories about how they struggle to drink first. Yeah, you know, how they, exactly. They're able to support me. I'm in this place because of them and also because of God. You know? yeah. You gotta go to church, gotta go to the hotel, gotta thank God for where you are. You gotta pray when you face it up. You know? Everyone goes through trials and tribulations, but what defines your character is whether you're able to come out of it. Okay, guys, so if you like this video, just remember to subscribe in the bottom left corner. Leave a like and a comment and just tell me what you'd like to hear for the next video. Tune in next time.